Hello, welcome to Levant TV headlines and Eid Mubarak to all the Muslim community in Britain and the Middle East. Britain's Ministry of Defense says UK pilots have conducted airstrikes on targets in Syria while embedded with other military forces fighting the Islamic State group. A suicide bomber wounded two policemen at a checkpoint near a high security prison in the Saudi capital Riyadh in an attack claimed by the Islamic State jihadist group. Yemen's exiled Vice President Khalid Baha has announced online the liberation of the second city of Aden after four months of devastating fighting between loyalist forces and Houthi rebels. Hamas chief Khalid Mish'al and other top officials from the Palestinian group met with Saudi Arabia's King Salman and senior Saudi leaders in the first meeting between the two sides for years. And Muslims around the world began Eid celebrations to mark the end of the holy month of Ramadan. Now let's have a look at the top headlines in today's newspapers in the Middle East. From Beirut, the Daily Star is reporting that Lebanon's Grand Mufti Abdel Latif Dirian has launched a sketching attack against MP Michelon for obstructing the work of vital government institutions, yet offered his full support to Prime Minister Tamam Salam. The paper also reports that CM President Bashar al-Assad made a rare public appearance for holiday prayers at a Damascus mosque. The Egypt Independent leads reporting that six supporters of Egypt's outlawed Muslim Brotherhood were killed in clashes with the police near Giza pyramids in Cairo, as Egyptians mark the Muslim holiday of Eid al-Fitr. The paper also reports that Egypt's Islamic State affiliate said on Thursday it fired a rocket at an Egyptian naval vessel in the Mediterranean Sea near the coast of Israel and the Gaza Strip. The UAE's Khalish Times leads reporting that Eid al-Futr will be celebrated in the country today as many people flew back to their homes to spend Eid Day with their families. The paper also reports that the UAE has announced the death of one of its officers while performing his national duty along with members of the Operation Restoring Hope Coalition who are on a mission to restore the legitimate government in Yemen. And now let's take a look at the top Middle East headlines from papers in London. The Guardian leads reporting that at least six people have been killed in clashes between pro-Islamist protesters and Egyptian police officers in Cairo when protesters attacked security forces stationed in Cairo's Talibiyah district near the Giza pyramids. An official said that more than 500 supporters of the banned Muslim Brotherhood group had staged a march earlier after morning prayers following the end of the holy month of Ramadan. The Telegraph leads reporting that Yemen's exiled Vice President Khalid Baha has announced the liberation of the second city of Aden after four months of devastating fighting between Loyalist forces and Iran-backed rebels. On Tuesday, Loyalist forces launched Operation Golden Arrow against Iran-backed rebels who seized control of much of Aden in March, forcing the government into exile in neighboring Saudi Arabia. Also from the UK, the Independent is reporting that British pilots who are embedded within US and Canada-led coalition forces have taken part in airstrikes over Syria. British media reported UK personnel have already been involved in fighting ISIS despite a vote in the House of Commons in 2013 against military action in the region. And now let's take a look at the top Middle East headlines in international papers. From China, the Global Times reports that Iraqi authorities have closed the, their main border crossing point with Jordan indefinitely and for security reasons. Brigadier General Saad Man, the Iraqi Minister of Interior spokesperson, said the decision came to deprive the Islamic State's funds from truck drivers who are forced by the extremist militants to pay a tax on each cargo crossing from Jordan to Iraq. And finally, Germany's Deutsche Welle reports that an Islamic State affiliate said on Thursday that it wrecked an Egyptian Navy vessel anchored off the Sinai Peninsula's Mediterranean coast. Egypt's military confirmed the attack, saying that a Coast Guard launch had exchanged shots with terrorist elements and that the vessel caught fire. That was it for today's headlines. For more updates, please visit Levant.tv. Thanks for watching Press Review and bye for now.